to van build number 22. So crazy. Cannot believe we're in the 20s already. This is our beach house layout. This is a 2022 170 Mercedes Sprinter. It's a 2500 non four by four, but we did a lot of suspension upgrades and a two inch lift. So it kind of looks like a four by four, especially with the all terrain tires and nice black rhino wheels that we did. Let's get in the van and show you the fun stuff. Um, and we do have the passenger side seat swivel and we do have a lagoon table that mounts here at the end of the closet with another table. So you could work up here. She's also gonna be using it for a dog crate area. <laughs> then we have a full length closet up front. That's one of the best things about the beach house is just how much storage there is in this van. Down below, we've actually never done this before, but she has an air fryer that she wants to bring with her on the road and this electrical system is so awesome that it can handle an air fryer because she has 560 amp hours of battle-borne batteries you'll see in the closet at the bottom we have little pins for an adjustable shelf that was also something she wanted we always try to do our best to integrate clients ideas and things they want to incorporate into their van i think those touches that she made in this van just turned out really really nice so one of the other kind of standard features of the beach house layout is the wet bath we kind of took our inspiration from the manufactured sprinters like airstream in winnebago but their bathrooms felt really closed off and very awkward because they'd have like a real door here and you'd like go in there and it was so small functionally for the size of the space this ultimately is the best bathroom. So one of the design elements Alex and I came up with because the toilet is so large and we didn't want to take up too much of the floor space in here is our toilet actually overhangs the, into the shower pan. This is a urine diverting toilet made by a company called Separate. And then the wall material is called Palisades. It's a vinyl wall tile that kind of clicks together. This is our number one thing that clients pick to finish off the bathroom. We also have not self-cleaning retractable door with the stripes next up is the kitchen again OG style with the butcher block the golden oak butcher block it just turned out beautifully this client loves to cook and she really wanted the butcher block I think it works so nicely in this I do actually love the tiles she picked out different style than we've done before the vertical just little tiny little guys with gray grout turned out very nicely she does have an outlet in her kitchen for her induction cooktop which is stored down in the drawer below. We also have a huge stainless steel sink. She even got the nice little soap dispenser and one of our favorite faucets. She also has a nice pull out trash and recycling can system underneath her sink. And then we just have a lot of storage in here. Like I was mentioning now on the other side of the van on the driver's side is where her 130 liter isotherm fridge is. Gorgeous, simple, easy this thing is massive next up we have upper cabinets all throughout again one of our favorite storage options for all of your extra stuff gear and bedding clothing all that kind of stuff and with our lagoon mount it's really easy to access all of this stuff all the way in the back because you can swivel it completely out of the way again something that wasn't out when we started van life six years ago i love van life for that reason there have been so many cool products and innovators and companies that have come out with new things to make van life even better this is our standard dinette bed area this is a bamboo table and again the lagoon mount that swivels all the way around so fun and functional and easy to use and just makes this space multifaceted this also creates kind of the fill in section of the bed all the cushions come together and makes almost a king size bed back here so really comfy cozy we have the u bench area which will hop outside freeze our tushes off and show you guys that but all in all i think this just turned out beautifully again it is very white in here but i think with all these wood details we brought in we haven't even talked about the slats how did I forget that was another thing she brought in on the design side was wanting slat accents throughout so we have one essentially like water falling down the end of the kitchen cabinet we have it on the bathroom wall which just reminds me of our last van I love that so much and then we do have it at the back of the u-bench area now I think I'm done with my part Alex will talk about some of the specs we'll talk about all the exterior stuff show you back there on the outside of this van we have a few things that are also standard for the beach house the beach house window configuration we always love to put the t-vent window in the sliding door it's great to have a window in the sliding door so when you're driving you have a little bit more vision when you're making those turns also it gives you that nice venting option right up here and then in the back 
back, we do the fixed glass windows on the driver and passenger rear quarter panel. Now that just really allows us to finish the window off really nicely with our frames, which we love doing on the inside. And then the custom window covers from Strawfoot that attach to the outside of those frames for a totally blackout and private window cover system. For all of the other window covers, like the front windshield and the two driver and passenger window up front and the sliding T-vent, we use the set from wonderful.co. Uh, our buddy Scott founded Wonderful a couple years ago and is just continuing to innovate and make really high quality products for van lifers. One of my favorite functions of the Wonderful uh, window covers is that they fold up really small accordion style. They're really easy to store. A couple other things we added on the outside of the van, our typical truck bed liner treatment, which is for rust prevention and also just the badass factor. We do the plastic panels and behind the plastic panels all the way down below. And also after we cut in everything up top, like the AC unit and vent fan in this van, then we also do a color match truck bed spray on the roof before we put the roof rack down. We've added running boards, uh, the 12 volt S bar diesel heater. We added the Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires around the black Rhino aftermarket black wheels, which just look sweet. Now let's show you the back of the van. She has a lot of storage here in the back with our U-bench area, like your water hose, your extension cord, um, the hose for her outdoor shower, which is right here. She has both hot and cold water right here. She can access her water fill hose through this hatch right here. And her shore power is actually underneath the van, right about here, so she can just kneel down, crawl underneath there, and plug her extension cord in when she wants to charge up through her 3000 watt inverter charger. This van does come equipped with 540, that is two Battleborn GC3 batteries. So 540 amp hours of lithium battery power with the 3000 watt inverter. It's got 60 amps of alternator charging. We have 200 watts of solar on the roof. Fresh water, we've got 33 gallons on the driver's side in this bench right here, and the two and a half gallon Bosch water heater. Um, it is not on demand, it is a tanked water heater, so along with the 33 gallons she has another two and a half gallons in there and typical climate control with the vent fan and the 12 volt Dometic RTX 2000 air conditioner. We do not need that today, but for many months she will be traveling in this. She is gonna love having that 12 volt air conditioner that can run directly off of the 540 amp hour battery bank. So what do we do on the roof? We added the Illumines double loop, low profile roof rack, 200 watts of solar on the Illumines solar mounts. We also added the WineGuard 435, which is a cell phone and Wi-Fi booster. On the passenger side of the vehicle, we did add two rigid, flush mount lights that are on the side. So she does have a little bit of lighting on the side and also the Fiamma F45S 10 foot awning, which is a manual crank. So our electrical control panel is located in this upper cabinet and this has the Serbo GX with the touchscreen along with post-it notes. With post-it notes. <laughs> please tell me what all of these switches are for so I can make labels. So right now we can see we're charging 76 watts through our solar. Our DC system is pulling 101 watts and our battery uh, voltage is at 13.4, which says it's at 100% right now, but we haven't exactly calibrated that yet. We did kick the heater on, so you might hear a little bit of that in the background. The control is actually right here by the bed, which is really nice, and then is underneath the passenger seat. Not sure if we mentioned that. All in all, this build turned out beautifully, and it is super bittersweet. This is 22 vans with our OG layout. It's like the exact floor plan that Alex and I used to live in, which is wild and crazy to think about before we had two kids. Anyways, enough with rambling. Thank you all so much for watching this van tour. Like I said, if you want to possibly get on our build schedule, there'll be a link down below for that. There'll be a link down below for a blog post with more pictures and details on this van, everything that we used in it. If you want to get the specs for this floor plan, our beach house layout, again, our most popular floor plan for our clients and people online and people in our DIY group, you can check out the van layout guide, which I will leave a link down below. That is our kind of floor plan program where you get access to all of the floor plans we have done thus far, and you get access to our private Facebook group where you can connect with us and other people building out their own van. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this, subscribe, leave us a comment down below. We do actually read them, so thank you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.